This is how I paint feathers on fabric using Derwent Inktense pencils and blocks. I hope you enjoy. Hello, today I'm making some feathers using Inktense blocks and pencils. Now I've got a calico canvas bag which I made and I've just put some cardboard inside it just to give me a nice hard surface. Now I've got a square of cardboard and I cut it from corner to corner with a slight curve in the middle. It's important to have that little curve in the middle. So what you do next is just wet the bag wherever you want to put your feather. It doesn't need to be soaked, just, just enough. And then you get your cardboard with a curved edge and just place it on there. Try and hold it down quite tight because you want a nice clean line. So now you can use your blocks or your pencils or both. I usually use both. Try to get in as close as you can to that middle. Like that. And then with the other piece of cardboard, that curve, you want that there and you just want to move it just so you've got a little white line in the middle. And then you can do exactly the same again. You can use your blocks or your pencils. different colours in. Overlap them as well because they look really pretty. Just try to keep those um, Try to keep it with no gap between them there. That way you get a nice cleaner line in the middle. You can just overlap them until you get exactly the, the look that you like. when you take it off, you should have that. Now what you can do is, don't worry too much about that, you can actually just um, fill it in. If you use a thinner piece of cardboard, you, you probably will get in quite a bit closer. You can just, just fill it in like that, just roughly. Then you get your water again. And you just gently stroke over like that. And you should get a nice sort of a blurry edged feather. A nice soft edge. give you kind of like a nice fluffy look. And then what I do next is I just take the pencils again, put a few little straggly ones in. Try to do them, do some of them wiggly, you don't want them dead straight, you want them wiggly. Like those, sort of like those cabaret feathers they have. So you do that. Then you can just go over them again.
Now you have your feather. I'll do another one. Okay, now I'm going to do exactly the same thing again, but using different colours, just so you can see how, how pretty they can be. So again, I'm using my block this time. Actually, if you're using the block, it's good to use that little edge there, because you can get right close to the edge of the cardboard, which is what you really need to get that nice crisp white line in the middle. If you want to do a smaller one, then exactly the same 